So what is up guys, Kelly Gaming today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. This is going to be episode 315 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot within the video is going to be Civil War Armor Overhaul, coming in at 55.3 megabytes of a download. This mod was made via a request to this mod author, and they've taken it upon themselves to make this mod on the Bethesda.net website. This is going to be the first mod from this particular author. Offer. So it's really nice to see that we're getting some fresh blood onto the site. It replaces certain NPCs in the Civil War questline with better and more fitting armor. Who wears this is decided by so on and so forth within that community that has had that request. If the faces look different too, it is a total character makeover as well with this particular mod. It isn't just a reskin to do with the armors along with the Civil War NPCs. It's actually to do with the whole NPCs that are involved within that quest line. It makes it look so much better and so much more cleaner if you are following that or revisiting that on a new game. But the second spot within this video is going to be Pottery Crafting coming in at 6.7 kilobytes of download, adds pottery crafting to all of the ovens within Skyrim. So now you have something else to make with that clay that you do pick up. Also added some silver and gold plates, bowls, goblets, and jugs within the forge if you want to kit that out. So if your table within your player home is looking a little bit lackluster, maybe your bedside cabinet would love a beautiful jug there or something very nicely sculptured. It's entirely up to you what we have now, but it's nice to see that we have sort of a basic element ripped out from the vanilla base game and sort of turned into what, a, what it should have been a crafting mechanic within the base game. But the third spot within this video is going to be Doom Combat Music Overhaul. This is absolutely insane. I will not be featuring it on this particular video. I will not be playing any of the sound effects or the actual music overhaul to do with this mod due to copyright strikes and so on and so forth. But if you have played Doom, you know some of the combat music within that game is absolutely insane. It gets the blood pumping, absolutely rushing off your tits. It's absolutely insane. This one is coming at 22.4 megabytes of a little bit bit pricey for an overhaul to do with some of the music within the game but overall it absolutely amps it up a hell of a lot if you want to experience sort of uh, an epic battle instead of with the boring vanilla music and you want something sort of interesting and new this is definitely going to be it the music includes the ultimate doom which is going to be the uh, remake of the first one doom 2 and doom 3 this is absolutely insane guys i recommend you grabbing this if you have got the free space and you want an absolutely heroic blood drenching experience within combat a complete redesign this is going to be an absolute killer mod for you to grab for the penultimate spot within the video is going to be add trap spell this one is coming in at 37.8 kilobytes of a download incredibly low for what you actually get within this mod this mod adds 26 trap spells within windhelm temple of talos this one comes with a bear trap you can put a bear trap down on the floor which is really nice there's an oil trap which obviously if you're a destruction mage you obviously want to place the trap down lure the enemies in and blast them with the fire then after that the trap will set a light covering a large surface area a slow rune poison damage and slows the enemy down within the movement speed this is absolutely insane very interesting to see i love the concept of this one it's very cool maybe as i said before if you want to use it as a destruction mage would be pretty sweet but personally i would you be using it on maybe sort of an assassin or a thief sort of build or a class or something like that that would be absolutely perfect but it's entirely up to you guys what you use it for and for the fifth and final spot within this video is going to be hardcore aggressive combat ai this one would go absolutely perfect with the doom combat music overhaul this one has a bunch of other different stuff in now the description is very limited in english the enemies attack more aggressive skyrim and combat becomes more difficult that is the english part the rest of the description i do believe is going to be in japanese i have actually translated some of it to give you a better description on this one the enemies activate more of a power attack once going into combat they are more aggressive to the more sort of a state of pushing the enemy onto you so basically instead of them walking around or dancing around should we say within combat with a sword and shield taking the time picking the shots when there is an opener pretty much the ai will come running at you guns blazing like you would or you do see within my videos kind of go full out i want to get that clear instantly they have that sort of same mindset with this one they're not really defensive at all they're kind of more barbaric they just want to go in there and absolutely take your head off personally i think it's a really nice change i think it's definitely a step up from playing safe within the game you know they just want to go 
go straight in and take your head off pretty much, which is absolutely awesome. And as I said before, with the Doom Combat music overhaul, it is going to be absolutely insane. For this one, to change up the combat style of the AI, it is only going to be 15.3 megabytes of a download. So guys, that's the end of this episode. This has been episode 315 within my series. Guys, I hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me an awful lot. Let me know as always if you'll be grabbing any of these mods that we did include within this video or in the week. Let's have a little discussion down in the comment section below. I'm trying to get back to all of your comments. Guys, as well, there is a thread up on the community part of my channel. I am actually taking questions for a Q&A video, which we are going to be aspiring to do almost every single single week. I want to kind of do that just to narrow it down just because as I said in a previous video there are an absolute ton of comments that I just don't have time to get back to and most of my time is actually making these videos. Uh, I'd love to get back to you guys so if you do have a question and you want to pitch it to me go onto that community tab and post it down there. I'll pin it on there if not you can tweet me or go on my Facebook page either either I will be doing a collection of those and the product will be at the end pretty much at this end of the week I'm not too sure I might you know maybe a sort of week special thing who knows as again suggestions down in the comment section below but until the next one guys kill a kefir and kill a kev out